should have stayed upstairs in my bed with you. Gross. Now listen to me. Okay, we can get a handle on this thing. We can talk this out and come to an understanding. Oh, so now it's weak. Where was we at when you was rolling around with some godforsaken woman? Before you started making a damn fool of yourself. You are about a day late and a dollar short when it comes to this. So well, it's just... Look, she gives me a different idea. Okay, I, I, I become a different man. It's like when I, I can step out of this house and, and, and go away from all the pressures and the problems. I can be a different man. I ain't got to worry about how the bills gonna get paid or how the roof gonna get fixed. No, I, I can be a part of myself that I ain't never been. I just don't know one thing. If you're gonna continue on seeing her, because that's all you can say to me. I can sit up in her house and laugh. Now, do you understand what I'm saying here? I can laugh out loud and it feels good. All the way down to the bottom of my shoes. And Rose, I can't give that up. Maybe you ought to go look back down there with her there. Since she's such a better woman. This ain't about nobody being a better woman or nothing. Look, Rose, you ain't the problem here. It ain't your fault. No, no man could ask for a woman to be a better wife than you've been. It's my responsibility. I mean, I locked myself into a pattern of taking care of y'all that I forgot about myself. What the hell was I there for? That was my job, not somebody else's. <laughs> Rose, I done, I done tried all my life to live decent. I done, I done tried all my life to live decent. I mean, a clean, hard, useful life. I tried to be a good husband to you in the best way I knew how. And maybe I come into this world backwards or something. But, I mean, you come into this world with two strikes against you before you even get to the plate. You always got to guard it closely, looking out for that curveball on the inside corner. Can't afford to have it get by you. You can't afford a called strike. If you're going down, you're going down swinging. It's all lined up against you. What are you going to do? Well, I fooled them, Rose. I bun it. I mean, when I found you and Corey at a halfway decent job, I was safe. They couldn't touch me. I wasn't going to strike out no more. <laughs> I wasn't going back to prison. I wasn't going to lay in the street with a bottle of wine, okay? I was safe. I had a family, a job, and I wasn't going to strike out. I was standing on first and was looking for one of them boys to knock me in to bring me home. saw that gal, she firmed up my backbone. And I got to thinking that if I tried, I just might be able to steal second. I mean, do you understand that after 18 years, I wanted to steal second? You should have grabbed onto me and held on tight. But I stood on first for 18 years. And I, I, I just thought, well, go on and go on for it. We ain't talking about baseball. We're talking about you sleeping with another woman and then bringing it home to me. That's what we're talking about. We ain't talking about no Look, baseball. Rose, you ain't listening to me. And I'm trying to explain it in the best way I can. Okay, it ain't easy for me to tell you that I've been standing in one place for 18 years. Yeah, I've been right there with you, Troy. I've been in the same place with you. I gave up 18 years of my life to stand in the same place as you. Don't you 
What about my life? 